Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Prince and today we're going to talk about PageRank, the project 2 of CS50 AI. And pretty much in this project, we're going to write an AI to think to rank web pages by its importance. So basically, we're going to learn how Google created the, the ranks of the pages before we have Google Ads, because nowadays you can pay for having a higher importance in, your, in the Google results. So in the PageRank's algorithm, a website is more important if it is linked by other important pages and links from less important websites have their links weighted less so this way we can we're gonna predict what pages are more important than the other so this will be our goal we're gonna receive some pages we're gonna take a look at the links and we're gonna rank what is what are more important than the others and we're gonna create a rank based on that pretty much we're gonna use two types of models this first one this random surfer model where we're gonna see it further and the interactive algorithm where we're going to have two ways of calculating the same page rank and at the end we're going to see the differences between those two methods all right you can see that the results are pretty similar but their implementation is a little bit different so we're going to cover those two implementations today and at the end you're going to succeed and complete this project if for some reason you have any questions in programming you can check the description below where you can find out our platform where you can practice more about coding and feel comfortable to do any course you want and even work as a programmer so so without further ado, let's take a look at the code that we have. Pretty much, they are providing to us here a three folders called Corpus 0, Corpus 1, and Corpus 2. And we're going to take a look at only one example to understand what they want. Pretty much inside of this folder, we have four HTML files. And those files will represent the pages that contains links or not. If you didn't take any web development course like CS50 Web, you might not know that an HTML file is where we store a page where you can see the things over the internet. So let's take a look here at an HTML file. I know this syntax might not be so comfortable for you but pretty much this is a link every time you see an a tag this represents a link and here we can see that the page one is referencing the page two then on page two we have two reference one for page one and another for page three the page three has two reference to page two and four and finally the page four has one reference to page two so pretty much we're going to check those references to evaluate what is more important than the others all right besides that we have this page rank.py where we are importing some libraries and here we have two global variables one called damping which is 0.85 and we're going to use this in our formula to calculate the things that we want and here we have a number for a sample so we're simulating 10,000 times to check those simulations and find out our probability. All right, so this is pretty much two variables we're going to use to solve our problem. Then I'm going to start running the debugger so we can see it in details. We can understand what we have in our hands. So we're going to call the function. We're going to run the file sending corpus 0, corpus 1, or corpus 2. You can decide. And here this first if statement is just checking if we sent the, the folder with the pages we're going to analyze. If we don't have it, we're going to get out of the code but here since we have we're calling the function crawl and this function will pretty much read the pages that we have and we're going to return this beautiful dictionary <laughs> that we can see in here so we have this variable called corpus where we have which is a dictionary <laughs> all right and in this dictionary we have four pairs one pair for one.html and here we're saying what link contains inside of page one exactly what we saw in the beginning of the video on page two we see the two references to other pages on page three we see those other two references as well and finally on in the last page we see one reference only so this corpus dictionary will tell us the connections we have between the files then we have this variable called rings where we're calling the function sample page rank basically here we're gonna insert we're gonna create our first function let me get inside which is not implemented yet and pretty much we are receiving corpus the damping factor and a variable n that will tell us how many times we're gonna do the simulation to get the probability as i told you in the beginning we are using here 10,000, but you can play around later and change those this sample to check how much this can change according to our final results and we're gonna implement this function but before implementing this function we're going to implement the transition model then this one and finally the third function so this is pretty much the goal of our problem all right so without further ado let's see what is going on in this transition model function 
So in the transition model, we should return a dictionary representing the probability distribution over which page a random surfer would visit next, giving a corpus of pages, a current page, and a damping factor. So in order to implement this function, I already go ahead here in the sample page rank and I call the function adding one example. So I'm calling the function transition model, sending the corpus, one page as a string and the damping factor. So if I click to go inside, we are here right now. So the corpus is that dictionary where we have the page and the links that contains inside of this page the damping factor which is 0.85 and the page we currently are our goal is to calculate the probability of someone at the current page that we are going to other pages so in our example i'm using the page one so we need to calculate the probability of me at page one going to page two page three and page four. And depending on each page, we're gonna have a different probability because our page one has a link to page two. So basically we have an extra probability to go directly to this page because since I am right now in page one, I can just click there in the link and go directly to page two. So we have this probability, but even though we don't have here the page three or the page four, the user can just select the page three and page four. So the user can randomly select this link even if we don't this page even if we don't have the link so this is our goal by the end of the day to calculate the probability of going to any page having or not the reference in the current current page that we are all right so here they mentioned that with probability damping factor we should choose a link at random link it to by page so pretty much here if the page that we are which is page one here has outgoing links, we should use the links for the probability distribution. If in this, this is not our case, but if we had here a page with no links inside, we would assume that you can go to any page at all and all of those other pages have the same probability. So pretty much we're going to calculate the probabilities having those two scenarios that I mentioned earlier. The scenario where we're going to calculate the probability going from page one to page two, because here we have a link directly, or the probability of going from page one to page three and four without this link directly. All right, so we need to think about those two scenarios. And we have those three variables in our hands. So pretty much, I need to know. We need, we're gonna create a new dictionary of probabilities and I'm gonna say the key of each of those, the key of each of the pairs in our dictionary will be the name of the pages. So I'm gonna create here, I don't know, probability and probability, I'm gonna say props better. It will be a dictionary and I need to initialize this dictionary adding all of those pages with probability zero just to have something to start. So I'm gonna loop over our corpus dictionary to use their key. So for key in corpus, I'm gonna say probs on position key is equals to zero. So I'm setting all of my variables to zero and I'm gonna put a breakpoint here. Let me remove the breakpoint from here and I'm gonna refresh so you can see exactly what we just did. Let me put a breakpoint right there and let me see here. We have a probability dictionary where we have all of the pages with zero probability. All right. Once we have that, we should know exactly the total amount of pages that we have. So we can use the corpus again to store the length of this dictionary. So I'm going to say like n len of corpus. So we're, we're going to have in our hands how many pages that we have. Then, as I mentioned, we need to check if the page that we currently are has outgoing links. So to do that, we're going to check if the page that we are, in the case we are using the variable page. So we're going to go to the dictionary corpus using our key one point HTML and we're going to find if the person has, if we have links or not. All right. So we're going to check in our corpus if we have links. So if corpus square bracket page because page is one that HTML and we have a key exactly with this name. So if we have this key, we're going to set that links is equals to this value. So corpus on position page. We need to know exactly what pages we have reference. And otherwise, links will be all of the keys we have in our corpus. So if we have outgoing links, we're going to put in this links only the pages that we have reference. If we don't have any link at all in the page that we are, we're going to say that we have link to any page 
existent. So here I'm gonna say corpus.keys to get all of those keys. All right, so pretty much we're storing the things we need. So we have, we are creating our dictionary of probabilities and we're setting all the probabilities to zero. We know exactly how many items we have in our, how many pages we have in total. And we are checking if the page that we currently are has references to other pages. If it has, we are storing this information. If we don't have, we're gonna assign that all of the pages are the links to the current page that we are. All right, I know I'm saying page do too much but unfortunately I can't say something different in this case. So what is our next step? Now that we have everything in our hands we should start assigning the correct probabilities for each page. So as they mentioned, let me see if I can go back here, we're gonna use this probability one minus damping factor to allow the person select randomly any page the person wanna go. So I am here at page one, I can go to any page I desire, so we're gonna start with this initial probability. So we can think about, for example, I am right now on Google, I wanna go to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, so I can select what website I wanna go. So here we are allowing the person to decide whatever page the person wanna go. So all of them will start with the same initial probability. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna do a loop. So for P to represent page in our probs dictionary, I am, or our corpus, you can decide because both dictionaries, they have the same key. Now we're gonna start assigning the probability we're gonna add. So I'm gonna say that probs composition P, which is the one we currently are, is going to be equals to one minus damping factor divided by N. Because this one minus damping factor will give us this random, the person can randomly choose what page the person wanna go. So for example, we have 15% of chance the person wanna go to any page but since we have four pages we need to do 15 divided by four so this is the equal probability for all of the pages so we're gonna do one minus damping factor divided by n which is the total amount of pages that we have all right so as i mentioned we have 15 percent of chance to go anywhere we want let's just split this 15 percent into four pages because we have four possible pages to go but we are gonna have now an extra if statement because maybe the the page we currently are has a link in the page that we want to go so now we're going to work with this choose a link at random link it to this page so having in mind for example page two here i am at page two i can randomly select to go to page one or page three because those are links i have in the page that i am right now so now we're going to calculate the probability of going to one of those pages all right so this is the idea we're going to have we're going to check if p in our links so if the page that we are has a reference to this page we're going to increment the probability because the person has more chances to go to this page that is being in reference then going randomly randomly to any page we want so i'm gonna say props p plus equals damping factor divided by the now what we should divide we should divide by how many links we have in the page so here since i have two links i should split the probability into two but in the page we are working right now we only have one page so this, we, this page two has more probability that we go there instead of the other so we're gonna use the length of links and with that we calculate exactly the two scenarios we should have in mind so at the end of the day i'm gonna return this probs variable all right so let's use the debugger and let's see what's going on so let me restart here and we will see exactly what we just discussed. So here I'm gonna do a loop to create our probs dictionary. So here I am inserting each page at a time with zero probability, which is good. Let me skip and go ahead with our dictionary done. All right, so here's zero probabilities for all. Now we're gonna know how many pages we have in total, which is four. Then we're gonna check if the page that we currently are, which is page one, has links actually exist in our corpus page. If since they have, we're gonna get here the link that page one has, which is linked to page two. So here, our variable links, let me expand here. Our variable links is exactly the page two. So here we are storing in a special place that we have this. Then we're gonna do a loop in our probability dictionary. So first, P is page four. We're gonna assign the probability of going randomly to this page. So it will be 0 0.15 divided by four. So here we have the 0 0.0375. 
And because the page four is not a link of page one, we don't have here in this page, we're gonna skip this if statement and look for the next page. Now we are on page three, we're working with page three. Page three, we received this initial probability, we just calculated. Page three is not a reference of the page that we are, so we're gonna go to the next loop. Next iteration, now we're working with page two. Page two, we received this initial probability, and now we know that page two is one of the links that we have reference in the page that we are. So because of that, we're gonna get inside of the if statement and we're gonna add an extra probability to it. And then we're gonna have 0.8875. So pretty much the probability to go to this page is 88%, while the other pages are 3.7. And now, lastly, the page one, it's giving the initial probability. We don't have reference to page one, so we're done with our loop. And finally, we're gonna return this dictionary. All right, so first model is done. So now that we were able to implement the, to calculate the probability distribution of one page, our goal right now is to generate this random walk over the internet. So right now we're gonna simulate 10,000 times this idea of going to random pages and getting their probabilities. So by the end of this 10,000 times, we're gonna have a concrete and a more robust probability to give because only using one sample is not that good. So here we're gonna expand our mind to do this over and over again. So we are back here now to our sample page rank where we call the transition model and we're gonna use this transition model to do this random walk over the pages. So again we should have a empty dictionary to count how many times we reach different pages. So our goal is to pick up, initially pick up a random page, calculate the probability and then pick up another random page and keep doing that over and over again. So every time we pick up a new page we're gonna keep track of our counter to say all right this page was selected okay this page was selected again so at the end of the day we're gonna have uh, we're gonna do this 10,000 times and we're gonna be surfing 5,000 times in page one 2,000 times in page two a hundred times on page three so we're gonna count how many times at the end that we reach each page randomly all right so initially I'm gonna create here a variable page rank as an empty dictionary and I'm gonna populate with all of the pages that we have available so for page in corpus I'm gonna create a our dictionary and I'm gonna set the counter to zero so now we want to count how many times we go to each page once we do that they tell us to start with a random page so we're gonna use our library random to pick up our first page so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna use the same name of a variable and I'm gonna say random dot choice which is the function we can select any item randomly from a list or a dictionary and here I'm actually a list so here I'm gonna use all of the keys of our core Purpose or of our page rank. So I want to select randomly on one of those four pages. And when we select randomly one of those four pages, I want to do this 10,000 times. So I'm going to do a loop for i in range. And the variable that represents 10,000 times is the variable n. So here I'm going to say for i in range n. Okay. Once we do that, what we want to do? We want to increment that we went to this page in our page rank. So I want to say, all right, page rank, I go, I went to this page one time, so I'm gonna increment my counter. And I wanna call our function transition model. So I'm gonna put here model equals to transition model. I know it's not a good name, but we're gonna use this. Why am I calling transition model? Because transition model is the function we just implemented that will give us the probability of going to the pages if we have the links or not in there. The only thing we need to change is that I'm not gonna hard code page one every time. I'm gonna use actually the page we selected randomly, all right? And once we receive the model, we're going to check the next page based on the rank, on the distribution probabilities we got from this model. So I'm going to create a variable called pages where I'm going to put all of them in a list. So model.keys. Now we have a list with the name of all pages that we have available. Then I'm going to store their probabilities. So probabilities. I'm going to store in a list as well. So I'm going to say models.values. Let me model. Let me stop right here and let me run the debugger so you can see exactly at which point we are right now. So, oh, I forgot here the parentheses, that's why. Let me refresh here. 